After the success of Step 1, China's human spaceflight program next needed to prove out rendezvous and docking techniques and to perform extravehicular activities, or EVAs, both of which are essential for long-term space habitation. This was the goal of Step 2. The first mission for Step 2 started on September 25, 2008, when Shenzhou 7 launched atop a Long March 2F booster from Zhuikon, carrying Taikonauts Zhai Zhigang, Louis Boming, and Jing Haiping on China's third crewed mission. The Long March 2F worked flawlessly during its eight minute mission to orbit placing the crew in a 200 by 330 kilometer orbit, angled at 42.4 degrees. After a single orbit, the crew fired the Xinjiang engines and raised the orbit to a nearly circular 330 by 336 kilometers above the Earth. Two days later, Zhe Zhe Gang, wearing a Chinese-made Fiatin spacesuit, and Louis Boming, wearing a Russian suit, the Orlan, depressurized the orbital module and used it as an airlock to conduct China's first extravehicular activity, its first spacewalk. And we can see loud applause from the control. He's waving to us. He's waving to us. Jai fully exited the vehicle, whereas Louis remained partially inside, conducting an SEVA, a stand up EVA, for about two minutes, handing Jai a Chinese flag to wave. Jai's task was to use the orbital module as a test platform to test the Chinese-made spacesuit. He translated along the side of the spaceship and retrieved a material sample tray mounted outside, and then returned back to the hatch area. During the EVA, the descent module stayed pressurized throughout, and the third crew member, Jing Hei Pen, stayed inside without wearing a spacesuit. After their successful EVA, the crew of Xinjiao 7 returned back to Earth.
practice rendezvous and docking, China launched an 8,000 kg station module atop a Long March 2F on September 29, 2011. At 10 meters long and 3.4 meters in diameter, Tiangong 1 has as much habitable space as the Xinjiang at 15 cubic meters. These small stations, first Tiangong 1 and then a second vehicle, Tiangong 2, acted as test platforms for the larger module station central to the success of Step 3. The design of these vehicles would become central to the long-term success of the Chinese space station and became its cargo vehicle. A little over a month after the launch of Tiangong-1 in November of 2011, Xinjiao-8, the first uncrewed Xinjiao spacecraft in almost a decade, conducted the first docking with Tiangong-1, proving out crucial autonomous docking procedures as manual docking would only be used if the autonomous system failed. Only three minutes left for only connecting. Only three minutes left until they really hooked up. Eleven meters remain. Eleven meters left for their rendezvous and docking. Nine meters. Eight, eight meters. meters. Eight meters. Now you can see the video. Six meters. And four, three. About nine months after Xinjiao eight. On June 16, 2012, Xinjiao 9 launched atop a Long March 2F from Jiquan, carrying Jing Hei Peng, Louis Wang, and China's first female taikonaut of the uh, Chinese manned space program, Louis Yang. After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, the crew conducted an autonomous docking with Tiangong-1 on June 18, 2012. On the 24th of June, just six days after the first docking, Xinjiang-9, with Louis on board, undocked from Tiangong-1. After an hour and a half of manual station keeping, the Wii conducted the first manual docking of the Chinese program, manually docking Xinjiang 9 back with Taingong 1. Nearly a year passed before Xinjiang 10, carrying astronauts Ni Hei Sheng, Zheng Xiao Wang, and Wan Ye Ping launched atop a Long March 2F from Jinquan on June 11, 2013. And we have a liftoff. The liftoff of Shinjo 10 and the astronauts on board, pretty happy and confident and waving their hands to the command center here on the Earth. 
And now Shin Jo-ten is on his journey to space to join China's prototype space lab Tiangong-1, which was launched in 2011. But well, this is about 10 minute process for the rocket and the spacecraft to go through until they reach the orbit. This is what we're gonna see in the next 10 minutes. After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, Xin Jiao Ten made the third docking with Tiangong One on June 13, 2013. The three Taikonauts spent 12 days aboard the station conducting scientific experiments and raised awareness about China's human spaceflight achievements to students all across China. The crew spent a total of 15 days aboard the station, the longest human mission thus far for China, and returned to Earth safely on June 26, 2013. The completion of the string of missions from Xinjiao 6 to Xinjiao 10 demonstrated China's technical achievements in human spaceflight, ending the first phase of Step 2 in the Chinese Human Spaceflight Program. And to complete the second phase of Step 2, the Chinese Space Agency needed new lift vehicles.